Welcome everyone. This is Bharat and I'd like to present our work, Loopreg, Self-Supervised Learning of Implicit Surface Correspondences, Pose and Shape for 3D Human Mesh Registration. This is a joint work with Christian Simoncescu, Christian Theobald and Gerard Ponsmall. The input to our method is a 3D scan or a point cloud and we output a registered body model explaining the geometry of the input scan. Let's start by reviewing a typical registration pipeline. First step is to get correspondences from the input scan to the parametric model. Step two is to optimize the model parameters to minimize the distance between the scan points and the estimated corresponding point. Finally, we iterate over steps one and two, but this iterative formulation is not end-to-end -end differentiable with respect to correspondences because correspondences are not updated when minimizing the distance. Our key idea is to formulate registration as a continuous, differentiable, and self-supervised loop. For every input scan point, we use a neural network to predict its correspondence to the parametric model. We then deform the corresponding point according to the model parameters and minimize the distance between the scan point and the transformed corresponding point. But we have a slight problem. It is difficult to ensure that the network predicted correspondences lie on the surface of the model. And outside the surface, the model function is not even defined, hence breaking our loop. Prior work use UV surface parameterization to ensure that the network predictions lie on the surface. But this is problematic because UV parameterization involves cutting and flattening the 3D surface. This induces discontinuities and distortions. We present an alternative to the problematic UV parameterization. We use the distance transform of the model surface to diffuse the model function from surface to R3. This allows us to shape and post the network predicted correspondences that are not on the model surface. Let us understand the diffusion process using a simple example. Let psi be a function defined on the mesh vertices V1, V2 and V3 and let P be a point in R3 where we would like to evaluate the function psi. Psi can be easily interpolated within the surface using barycentric interpolation. To evaluate psi outside, we leverage the distance transform of the surface to diffuse psi using the closest surface point. We can apply the same principle to diffuse the body model function from the surface to R3. Let figure A represent an arbitrary, smooth, and continuous function defined on the model surface, represented as per vertex colors. We can compute the distance transform of this model and use it to diffuse the model function to entire R3. We can now create a self-supervised registration loop with this diffused body model, as the network predicted correspondences that overshoot the surface are also posed and shaped according to the model parameters. This allows us to have a closed loop. We formulate loop reg as a self-supervised data to model to data loop. The training objective loops over all the unlabeled scans and for each scan point SI, our network F predicts its correspondence to the diffused body model in R3. The corresponding point is transformed according to the learnable model parameters x. In the case of simple, these would be pose, shape, and freeform deformations. We minimize the distance between the original scan point and the transformed corresponding point. It is important to note that unlike previous two-step optimization for correspondences and model parameters, we can jointly optimize over both. We softly penalize the network predictions that deviate from the model surface as gradients away from the surface might not be reliable. Note that this formulation allows us to train loopreg with self-supervision. In practice, we find that randomly initializing the correspondence prediction gets the optimization stuck in the local minima. 
we need a small amount of supervised worm start. The supervised objective sums over all the labeled scans and we minimize for every scan point the L2 distance between the network predicted correspondences and the ground truth. Our experiments show that with a small initial worm start, loop reg becomes increasingly more accurate as more and more unlabeled data is provided to the method. Now let's look at some results. We compare our method with existing optimization and learning based registration methods and outperform them both. Note that optimization based registration requires 3D key point annotations for each test scan, which are expensive. And without this information, these methods easily get stuck in local minima. Learning based method 3D coded is highly susceptible to global rotation and requires multiple initializations, without which the method gets stuck in local minima. The baseline 3D coded is trained on two orders of magnitude more data as compared to our method and does not perform well with limited data. It is also restricted to handle only undressed humans. Our method, on the other hand, does not require instance specific annotations requires two order of magnitude less supervised data for the worm start, supports self-supervision, and does not require multiple initializations. Let's look at some qualitative results. We show registration given an input point cloud for dressed humans. We compare our method against optimization-based baselines. Note that learning-based approach 3D coded works only with undressed shapes. Given an input point cloud shown in figure A, we can see that the optimization-based registration shown in B produces significantly more artifacts than our method shown in C. We show the ground truth scan in D. One of the key advantages of loopreg is that our formulation supports self-supervised training. We show that performance of our method increases as more and more unlabeled data is made available to our method. We go from 9.3 cm vertex to vertex error when no supervised data is used to just 1.5 cm when roughly 1600 unlabeled scans were used with loopreg. We also evaluate loopreg on the task of correspondence prediction. Loopreg, loopreg is not explicitly trained for predicting correspondences between the two shapes. But since we can register different human meshes with a common template, we can establish correspondences between the different shapes. Our method outperforms existing baselines on correspondence prediction on Faust dataset. We show some qualitative examples of correspondence prediction with our method. On the left, we see the color-coded reference model and we show in each set the input point cloud, registration and correspondences using loopreg. To summarize, we propose a semi-supervised method for automatic 3D scan registration. Our method is fully differentiable with respect to both correspondences and the model. Our method outperforms existing baselines on human mesh registration and correspondence prediction. Our formulation of diffusing mesh functions to R3 provides a powerful alternative to the common UV parameterization. Our code and pre-trained models can be downloaded at our website. Thank you for your time.